Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from ExecuteAutomation.com and welcome to Selenium Tidbits. So in this part, we're going to discuss about dragging and dropping a control in Selenium using Actions class. We have discussed so many tidbits in Selenium like opening a browser and working with WebDriver, finding an element and performing an operation in a control using find element and click and also entering a text and performing a drop down select etc but this is completely new so we have a separate package called org.openqa.selenium.interactions where we have a class called actions so using actions class we can perform a lot of other operations like drag and drop performing mouse hover performing some click operations performing some operations which cannot be performed in the normal selenium package Hence, we will be using this Actions class. So, let's not waste our time. Let's flip back to Eclipse. So, this is the same project which we have been working with a lot of tidbits as of now. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to navigate to this particular website. So, I have created a separate website for Selenium tidbits, which will have a lot of controls, as you can see here. So I have created a website uh, like this. It comes under exilautomation.com slash demo site slash login.html. So you can enter any username and password here. And as you can see, the password itself is not hidden, but let it be. If I hit login, you can see it takes me to a separate page, which is more like a user form, where you can perform some, some operations like collecting a drop down box, entering text, and also you can see there is a menu control you can hover to them and we can use this for hover tidbits of this selenium and there is a drag and drop options so if you click that you can see it takes me to a separate page so this is the drag and drop page so what you can do is you can drag an item to any place as you can see here so this is the operation that we are interested in today's tidbits so what you're going to do is we're going to drag an item one from one place to another or drag item 5 from one place to another and see if this drag and drop option is working fine using selenium's interaction.action class so we're going to use we're going to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this url and i'm going to paste it right here so as you can see i'm just so i'm already doing this in this particular code so my intention is to write the drag and drop operation for, so for that i'm going to write a method so let's call this as public static void drag and drop so this is my method name and I'm going to pass the parameter as web element so in the drag and drop as you can see in this page you need to select a control and you need to drag it to some other control so that that can be placed there right so which means you need to have two items so one item which you are selecting and the another item where you're going to place that the location or the element in which you're going to place that so you need to have two web elements altogether so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two web elements one is source element and another one is destination element so I'm going to have two elements in this method. So these are two elements which I'm going to get as a parameter for this particular method, right? And as I already told, there is a class called actions. So let me hit control one and you can see it comes from org.openqa.selenium.interactions package. So let's import that and I'm going to create a variable as action and new actions so in this I'm gonna get my web driver as within the constructor so which means I need to also somehow pass the web driver for this particular method so let me get this web driver instance as well so web driver driver alright so let's pass this driver so now we have three parameters in this method since I have to explicitly pass this driver as well right and then I'm going to use 
a method which is available in actions class called drag and drop can you see that so it says the source web element and target web element as a two parameter for this particular method and it says a convenience method that performs click and hold at a location of the source element moves to the target element then releases the mouse that's great that's what we are expecting so I can do a drag and drop of the source and the target is nothing but so the source is nothing but our source element and the target is nothing but our destination element which is great right so once you're doing this drag and drop you need to also call one more method called perform so this will complete your action once you're done with it so once you are doing a drag and drop you need to perform that operation in the UI so you need to call this method as well great so this is the drag and drop operation method so we can try it out and see if these things work or not so that's great so the next operation which I'm going to do is I need to identify the elements ID which I'm going to perform the drag and drop operation so for that let me go to Eclipse so as you can see this is my drag and drop website so I'm going to just right click this and hit inspect element and you can see there is an ID for this particular list index it's item 1 and similarly for item 2 it's item 2 and for drag item 3 it's item 3 and similarly for drag item 4 it's item 4 and it's item 5 for drag item 5 which is great so this is my ID for each and every controls so I can easily recognize them for performing a drag and drop operation so what I'm going to do is let me do this I'm going to drag item 1 and I'm going to put it in item number 4 so if I do this this will come under this one fourth value will shift to third place and first value will shift to fourth place which is great so I'm going to use the ID item 2 and item 4 for performing my operation so let me first identify these controls so for doing that very quickly we can use the web element item 1 is equal to driver dot find element by dot we're gonna find using ID so this is the ID and the value is item 1 great and so this is the item 1 value and then we're going to perform that operation or drag that value from first place to the fourth place so just nothing but item 4 so this is the item 4 so this is the ID of the fourth value great so this is my source let's consider this is my source and this is my destination great so for performing the drag and drop operation we have written this method drag and drop so I'm just gonna call this guy drag and drop of source element is nothing but our item 1 and the destination element is nothing but our item 2 item 4 I'm sorry so that's it so using this we can perform the drag and drop operation and see if things works or not right so for that let's right click it and hit the run as Java application so this should open me the Firefox browser and it should navigate me to this particular page and then it should perform the drag and drop of item 1 to 4th place let's see that and now you can see that item 4 will be dragged from this place to the 4th place so the site is very slow right now we'll see if the page is fully loaded or not so, it, so Selenium is actually waiting for the page to fully load okay did you see that the item 1 has shifted from the first place to the fourth place and the fourth item is shifted from fourth place to third place so this is how you can perform a drag and drop operation using the actions class of interactions package which is great so thank you very much for watching the selenium tidbits stay tuned for more tidbits on selenium have a great day